We talk to ourselves all day, every day within our minds. We make mental affirmations for both ourselves and the world around us. And these voices in our heads are part of the conditioning and the old programs that have been created within us. Most often, we say and think these things unconsciously. They are automatic because we've learned to repeat them over time. But you have the power to learn how to talk to yourself differently and allow the universe to give you a new set of experiences that align with what you truly desire. And I'll explain how to do that here. Much of the chatter that goes on within our minds talks us out of creating what we truly want. The reason for this is that as children, we learn to push our wants out of our minds to please others. And this creates fears and doubts that we can actually have what we truly desire. But on a spiritual journey, a journey of learning to create intentionally, which I'm assuming you're on if you're here, we begin to adopt a new set of rules. And in doing so, we often create more time to learn how the universe works and to sit with ourselves in an attempt to create new mental constructs that lead us into the manifestation of the experiences that we prefer. As you probably already know, your thoughts have tremendous power. The source energy within us inspires us to act, but the conditioned voices in our head tells us to doubt that inspiration. And if you've ever just sat with your thoughts, just observed them, you might have noticed what these thoughts say to you. Thoughts you didn't come into this world with, but picked up along the way on your physical journey. Observing these thoughts is the trick to learning how to talk to yourself differently. The simple act of observing these thoughts can take the power away from them so you can begin creating new thoughts that create new experiences. I'll explain further. Fears and doubts that are learned are only illusions that you have the choice to succumb to or to overcome. And when you overcome them, you change them. And in changing them, you create a new set of experiences because the universe is always delivering to us a reflection of the dominant thoughts that we think. You experience what's in your mind. So how do you overcome these thoughts? Most people are so busy surviving that they don't notice what thoughts that they're allowing to automatically churn within their minds. To overcome these thoughts, you make the conscious decision to bring them to your conscious awareness so that you can change them. In other words, you don't run away from them or ignore them or allow them to run in the background any further. You face them head on and invite them to present themselves to you so that you expose them for what they are and then take their power away. To do this, sit quietly for a few moments and introduce an intentional thought of a desire that you aim to achieve and then see what presents itself to you within your mind. Do your thoughts tell you that you can't have this desire? Do they give you all of the reasons why it's impossible to achieve it? Do they tell you that you're not good enough to have it? If so, great. You're actually revealing what blocks your success with this goal. And as these old thoughts become visible, you're gonna to want to dismantle them. Your higher self, the source within you, also has a voice within you. It's that quiet little nudge that's pushing you to manifest something new. It's the joyous, what if I had or experienced this voice that you may just attribute to fantasy. When you allow the doubts and the fears to surface in your mind and you reframe the meaning that they hold within you by saying something to yourself like this, oh, those are just those silly, outdated old thoughts that I used to think coming up again. Without giving them any emotion or any power, they begin to crumble away and the desire from your higher self can come forward. The old voices that try to drown out your inspired voice lose their power when you face them in this way. Those silly, outdated thoughts are only illusions. They're not the real, true source of who you are or who you were born to be. They may have once dictated your actions, but exposure of what they really are silences them. And one by one, you can eliminate them and any power that they once held over you. Next, practice thinking and speaking differently about yourself, others, and the world around you even if it feels to be untrue when you first start this process. I'll outline here a few ways to do this, and I recommend incorporating all of these things to create a new habit for faster results. Number one, a great way that I've learned in my own life to do this is by stating out loud that an experience that I'm having that I don't prefer is just an illusion. I say, it's only an illusion, because I know that that's what it is. And this takes the power away from any doubtful thoughts that I'm having regarding that situation. In taking that power away, 
I can begin to reframe my thoughts around what I truly desire. It's all about the meaning that we carry in any situation. I personally do this by telling myself that all situations work in my favor, even the ones that don't look like they will. Number two, sometimes the negative thoughts that need to be changed are about the self. If you've ever said to yourself, why did I do that? What's wrong with me? Why do I always screw things up? It's time to ask yourself if you would speak to a friend, loved one, or even a small child in this way. Extend yourself some kindness by once again changing the meaning. For example, you can begin to make this shift by telling yourself that it's okay to make mistakes, or that you're proud of yourself for doing your best and putting yourself out there, and that you can keep working on these things and getting better at them. Number three, I recommend even taking this a step further by adding positive words to your inner vocabulary. For example, tell yourself that you're smart, or good-looking, or funny, or abundant, or worthy. These words may feel strange and foreign at first if you're not used to thinking or hearing them, but your brain and body will jump on board with practice and consistency. You can train your subconscious mind to actually believe these things just through the new habit of saying and thinking them repeatedly. Next, make a conscious effort to say something positive about everyone and everything in your life. You can build up these mental constructs by also speaking those positive affirmations to all of your friends and family, or even strangers that you see. Again, make it a habit and then watch as the universe delivers it back to you. Number five, you can also keep a list of negative words or phrases that tend to automatically come up for you or ones that you hear from others and immediately change the meaning that you give them by writing the opposite word. In other words, you're going to change it to what you would have liked to have thought or heard instead. Remember, once again, it's all about the meaning that we assign to our thoughts. Here are some examples. The word worthless actually equals worthy. The word stupid actually equals smart. And the word lack actually equals abundance. Simply write the word down and then it's opposite next to it to change the way that your mind runs in the background of your everyday life. And here's tip number six. As you start to incorporate all of these other new habits, begin to adopt the idea that your higher self thoughts those desires that you have within you, the ones that you really want to create and manifest in your life, are the one and only true source within you. That voice is there to guide you once you learn to release the fears that block its instruction. Connecting to this guidance and using your instincts to follow what it's telling you will always lead to success. Ask yourself if you want to be guided by truth or by fear. And then affirm often, I feel divine inspiration flowing through me and I connect fully to that inspiration and follow its guidance daily. Everything is rigged in my favor. I can only win. You don't have to believe the negatives in your mind. You can change the way that you talk to yourself and begin seeing new outcomes very quickly. Our mental chatter and our spoken words that come from those thoughts determines the experiences that we have. They hold a lot of power over our emotions, behaviors, and beliefs. What we assume to be true is the truth that we experience. Our inner world is reflected onto the screen of space and delivered back to us like a boomerang as a manifestation of what we face in our everyday lives. If you pay close enough attention, you will see that your thoughts are what you experience. Thoughts of lack and poverty align with a life of lack and poverty, just as thoughts of abundance and joy align with a life of abundance and joy. The only difference is in the thoughts that you allow to dominantly swirl around in your mind, and you have the absolute power to change those thoughts. When you talk to yourself in a way that aligns with what you truly want and create that as your dominant storyline for your life, the universe will give you everything that you desire.